Hey guys, welcome to another All Base Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Today, we're going to be doing somewhat of a preamp um, comparison. These are three of my favorite preamp pedals. Um, all of them are amazing in their own way. Um, this Eden pedal is actually um, my very first pedal I ever owned. So, um, it's about 11 years old. Um, I also have an Aguilar AG preamp, which is the brand new one, and the new Ampeg SGT DI. And the reason I like all of these particular pedals is because they're all um, kind of modeled after or have the same um, similar an um, analog circuitry as the heads they're modeled after. So the Eden is modeled after the World um, Tour um, Eden base head, and of course the Aguilar is based off of the AG pre um, the AG amp. Um, their black uh, amp is really light, but it's powerful. It's about 700 watts, something like that. Then you have the Ampeg SGT, which has a few different voicings to it. Um, the main preamp kind of has somewhat of like a uh a ba series head type thing is what i it sounds like to me like the on the ba um what's that uh 210 v2 and then you also have the svt um or if you um hit the sgt circuit you have the svt and the b15 voices so you know they kind of allow me to have like options in terms of my bass amp um if i'm running my bass amp head i can run into the return or the power amp in and use all of these to have a eden head an aguilar head and an amp head let me give you guys an example run through the preamps by themselves first and then i'll run them through a 410 cabinet a tc electronic bc 410 cabinet it'll be every um running at four ohms um and it'll be powered by a Harky TX600, but just going straight into the return. So you won't be hearing any of the preamp of the Harky head. This is my bass drive, by the way. So that's my bass dry, you know, nice, decent dry signal. Um, let's start with the um, Aguilar. Well, let's start with the Ampeg. Just so you guys, we'll just go from top to bottom. So now we're on the Ampeg. Bam. <laughs> So this is my general setting for the Ampeg preamp. It's pretty much the bass at um, one o'clock, the mids at 11 o'clock, um, set around, you can set them anywhere between like 250 and 500 and it, it's kind of cuts depending on what you like. Um, and I just have the treble knob um, pretty much at noon and none of the filters on. Um, Thank you. 
So, very nice, solid preamp. You know, got some compression on there as well. The compression is around 9 o'clock. So, that gives you a nice... So it gives you a very nice, rich tone just without any of the voices um, of the G SG circuit. You turn some of that on, you get kind of tied into a SVT. I like to have it on as clean as possible. I'm not really into the heavy distorted sounds, but a little bit of action. The B-15. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of what you can do with this preamp. Now, coming over to the, the Aguilar, here's my bass dragon. Thank you. 
I love this preamp for its clarity. It sounds amazing. Like that's exactly how my bass sounds. Like even even without it. With it. Just a little bit of color on there. That's all it is. And that's mostly from the EQ and I did to it. So here's a little slap. I love the way it makes my low B, str um, B string sound. It gives it that real, lets it have that natural, that's how my bass actually sounds. It sounds more like a piano string. And as you can see, it doesn't color your sound nowhere near as much as the Ampeg does. So it's a, it's a, they both sound amazing, you know, and and they both can you know have different purposes depending on what style of music you're playing, or just what feel you're going for with a, a particular song. Um, that Ampeg definitely got that slap on it. It's, it's definitely got the slap on. It. I mean, you can slap with this as well, Aguilar as well. Um, here's with the with the filters on. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So you can get a nice slap, deep sound out of this um, Aguilar as well. Um, I'll go back for a second to the Ampeg. Um, forgot to add those two filters on. So I love the way both of them sound, and this is so that's that's the bass by itself, you know, um, just for reference. And now we're gonna switch on the Eden. So, that's the Eden pedal, pretty much. And of course, you can turn on that Enhance more. Um. Thank <laughs> you. 
without So I definitely love how all of these sound. Um, you know, it just it gives me options. Because guess what? When I run those through the um the return of the harky, now we'll have like three different heads. It'll it'll feel like three different almost like you're switching out three different names. that that's my base flat running um straight into the power amp i do have a aguilar op3 um you know active system in here so you know i technically i actually have enough power to push a um, preamp with just my base and i can actually do some good tone shaping with that but i like the way amp heads shape the sound as well you know this is this cool You know, ain't nothing complain about. But we want to put the amp head in it. So let's do it in reverse. We'll start with the eating this time. Nice, nice. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little enhance on it. Thank you. 
So, of course, um, I love this TC Electronic 410s. It sounds great with, with most things. Um, I haven't really run across anything it doesn't sound great with or I can't get it to sound decent with. But that's the Eden so far. Moving on to the Aguilar. filter on So I just noticed I still have the line level up quite a bit. So I'm going to bring that down so you can hear more of just the cabinet or what it sounds like in the room when switching these different heads and things like that. I will leave a little bit in there because typically when you're um, mixing, you you know, you're going to have a, a little bit more of one or the other. You know, um, typically I would actually have the amp underneath the direct signal coming out of the preamp but for these purposes we're going to elevate these um cabinet volume and bring down the um other one and i'll go back and do the eating because i didn't do this for the eating Thank you. 
deep switch. So that's a little bit without it, just so you had a reference. But let's actually step back real quick to the Eden. That's the Eden, the more the cab, rather. Going to the Ampig.
Just kicked on the high and um, the high boot, ultra highs, and the ultra lows, and ultra highs. So now we're going to do the SVT.
So you get like kind of like a nice brighter um, tube type sound than the B15 with the SVT. Um, so we're gonna switch to the B15 where you'll have a much warmer sound. I love this um, when I'm running effects. I'm gonna run an octaver through there as well. And I love that I can use this SGT circuit um, with my other um, uh, um, preamps as well. You know, without using the preamp, so I can use the preamp um, and the uh, SGT circuits. Trouble Ultra Highs. the VST. So let's try the SG the SVT SGT circuit with the Aguilar amp. See what that sound like. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's the um kind of one of the tricks you can use to um i know a lot of times when you turn on this sgt circuit is it's distorted you know or overdriven you know it's meant to be that way that's on purpose but if you want to have access to the two type um tones without the distortion you just bring the volume down on your your actual bass or um in this case since i'm running this Aguilar into it i'm bringing the volume down of the Aguilar and i'm boosting the the volume of the circuit itself up here <laughs> So there's a few different ways, you know, you can just kind of mix and match different things. Even with the Eden one, it'll sound good. Running into the... 